Hey guys, so I hope this lighting is a little bit better. You have to excuse my hair and my neck. It's red and it itches. I don't know. I'm dying. Um, but I hope this lighting is a lot better for you. I don't know why I never thought to film over here by my lamp, but it works out pretty gate. Gate? Alright. Great. So, I love you too. So, today I am filming my two week postpartum update from a C section, as you can tell by the title. But you can still tell me you love me. Um, I'm filming a two week postpartum update. So the thing is, actually, three weeks PP, um, but this, <laughs> this is late. Um, yeah. I meant to get around to this video and <laughs> I'm a failure. I fail at YouTube. So, yes, baby, you can have a drink. Um, so yeah, and my bed is not made. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, so anyway, I am three weeks and one day postpartum today um, but it's after midnight so technically it's two days um, which also means Prim is three weeks old that breaks my heart um, but yeah I just thought that I would tell you guys how two weeks after c-section is for me um, if you're on my Instagram then you've seen me talk a little bit about that the delivery didn't go as planned um, and the c-section was a lot harder than I intended it for for it to be and healing was a pain in the beginning um, so I am going to do a labor and delivery video that is going to be something I get up but that is something that goes into deep detail that's probably going to be like a 20 minute video and um, yeah I just I will get that up I swear I promise it will be up but it is going to take a little bit of time you know like a lot of youtubers only have their labor and delivery up for like a year um, mine's definitely going to be up before then, um, but I want to make sure I have the time and the space and everything to, um, do it to where, you know, it's good content, basically. Um, so yes, in the beginning I had a lot of issues, um, with the C-section. It was just kind of crazy. I'm not going to, like, ruin my labor and delivery <laughs> story for you guys. Um, but it was, it was a little rough and it was a little, little crazy and, um, hard. So healing was definitely a lot harder in the beginning. Um, so with Drew, which was my first, I was 14 years old and I was only on pain medication for a few days after being home. It was very easy. I, I wasn't in pain. I did really well. Great. I did not stop taking my pain medication until two weeks, a few days couple of days before two weeks PP it's been a while um so I was strictly like on pain medication to the time um for a while you have to ignore this little box piece right here um for a while after I came home uh and then I did cut myself down I would cut one of the pain medications that I was on in half and then I cut the other one that I was on in half. So I kind of took myself off to make sure that it wouldn't be too painful, that um, it wasn't too early for me to try to stop doing my medication, you know, things like that. Um, and it worked out fine. I don't, I don't have to take it anymore. Um, I do still get pains, um, obviously. <laughs> Three weeks after having my stomach sliced open. So yes, I do still get pains. I am a lot different or a lot better than what two weeks was every day is you know a little bit of improvement I still can't turn you know I can turn obviously I can you know I can turn and reach but if my stomach stretches a little bit too far I get like a burning sensation there's one piece of my stomach that is much more sore than the rest um, I don't know it, it normally happens like that that one side of your body you know takes it differently um, and it's my right side so there's a piece that is just a lot more sore which I think is actually where they did the test cut and then cut over that I don't I don't know um, but it's it's a lot more sore there and you know I I was because I wanted that kind Bubby um I was never numb I'm just gonna you know say that you can hear the rest of my labor and delivery but I was never numb so I've dealt with this pain from right away you're okay from you know right away um and 
So yeah, I can't. I still can't turn. I cannot lift anything over a gallon of milk, which is like 8.6 pounds. Um, the heaviest thing that I can lift is my baby. They tell you not to lift more than your baby, but I can lift a gallon of milk. And then um, I have to be cleared at my six weeks checkup to lift like her car seat and things like that. Anything over eight pounds, I can't lift. Um, she only weighs 615, but um, that's very, very hard because that means I can't leave the house in a minute. I can't leave the house um, without having someone with me that can carry the car seat or, you know, I can't go anywhere unless someone is there to carry the car seat. It's, it's very frustrating. Um, right now, I don't think that I could carry it. I think that it would pull too hard and I know that I shouldn't be carrying it yet, so I'm not going to push my body. Um, if I lift something too heavy, it does, I, I do feel it. Um, so I don't want to push it at all. That's what, I mean, that causes like inner tears and infections and it's a whole new jungle of things if you do, you know, cause, get an infection or, you know, things like that. It brings up a whole, like, whole new healing process. So I am trying to avoid, um, you know, lifting heavy things and things. Like I said, I've been off my pain medication for about a week now and I took my nails off and, like, my skin's all weird underneath and it's, I, it's gross. Um, I've been off, <clears throat> I've done that since my surgery, it's weird. I've been off my pain medications for a week now, and I'm doing really well. Um, I'm able to do a lot more things, I'm able to bend down, like I'm on the floor, I can get back up. It's very, very nice. Um, as for the incision itself, I... In the beginning, I had a lot of leakage. It was very nasty. Like, it went through my stereo strips. And I know everyone's question is, is she going to show her stomach? No. <laughs> um, now, I wouldn't... I would not mind showing you guys. Um, but at the moment, you can't see anything but tape. So, I don't want to show you guys tape. Um, it's a hard angle to take because the cut is made very, very low. So, it is hard to do this angle without showing you guys porn. Um... <laughs> Alright, if I edited videos, I would probably cut that out, but I don't. Um, without, you know, showing you guys too much of my body. Um, but if I if I didn't have tape, then I would show you. But there is tape there, and you can't see anything. The tape is um, peeling lower and lower, and I have to keep it trimmed. And you you really can't. The tape is kind of separated off of my skin, and you can't see through it because it's, it's, it's a white clear. Um, so you just see tape, and I, I don't... I don't want... Yeah, baby, just take it into the kitchen. I don't want to show you guys tape. That's that's stupid. Um, when it does, when the tape does fall off completely, I promise I will do a update. Um, it may be off like one week. Probably not. But if it's off by my one month, because I'm gonna do a one month postpartum update as well. If it's off by then, then I'll show you guys. And if it's not off by then, then I'll do a six week because six week is when I have a checkup. So I will do like a six week PP update or two month. You know, I'll incorporate it so I can show you guys because I know that's really intriguing for everyone. There actually is a picture of my stomach when I still had the staples on. On my Instagram, you can go follow me at coolmom of 2 underscore 98. Um, 2 is spelled out, 98 is just the numbers. Um, so yeah, you guys can go see that if you want. Somebody's going to comment that I say um a lot and then it's going to be me telling them if they don't like it, don't watch my videos again. So don't comment because there's your answer. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to show you guys. Like I said, there is pictures but in the beginning I had a lot of leakage and it would like come through my stereo strips which is a piece of tape that holds your incision together and keeps it like sterile-ish um, um, and I was leaking through Can it and I, I never say I love you? yeah I love you I never had that with Drew so it was a little different and a little creepy and I did ask about it um, but there, yeah there was leakage and things it I think it took longer to close I don't really know it was obviously closed and the nurse that took my staples out said that my skin was trying to close around my staples. So my skin was forming really well, but once I got home, I was still really iffy about it. It just felt loose. So I... He's got a head. So I, um... Yeah, I don't know what I was saying there. I was just very leery about it. It was, it just felt loose and uncomfortable and I thought that I was going to like pop it open or something. Um, luckily I never did, but I thought that I was going to. Um, Hi. As of, Hi guys. 
<laughs> as of now, um, I feel much more confident with it being, you know, closed more. I'm not as scared, like, tape ripped off. A t piece of tape. You're you're not allowed to rip it. I love you guys. Aww, you can say it. Come over here. Quit shaking. Careful. Say it. I love you guys. All right. There you go. Um. A piece of tape ripped off, and it scared the living crap out of me because I felt it. Felt. It. And a C-section area is numb. I still can't feel half of the right side of my stomach. <sighs> I don't think that's normal. But, I felt it, and it was scary, um, yeah, but now I'm, I, it rips, sometimes it gets pulled down from my underwear or my pants, and it doesn't scare me because I'm confident that it's close enough that it's not gonna hurt it, um, so that's, that is very nice, I believe that's really it, that all, that's came with three weeks postpartum or two weeks, um, now about weight that is the last thing i have to talk about i i started my pregnancy at 143 i dropped down to 141 because i lost two pounds in the beginning and then i ended my pregnancy at 162.1 i actually got up to 163 at one point but i lost a couple of pounds not complaining or lost a pound um was i 161.2 no i was 162. um and so that was my ending weight. Um, now, I don't, I'm, I'm really talking off the wall right now. Two, three, four, five days postpartum, I was 153. So I had lost, you know, nine, ten pounds. And then, like a week or so, I was 141. So I am below my pre-pregnancy weight. I've not done anything. You have to be cleared by your doctor to do anything, really. I'm not one to test those boundaries. I break a lot of rules, but I'm not breaking those. Um, so yeah, I haven't done anything. I don't exercise, really, because I can't. Um, I don't, I'm not on a diet. I eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it. Um, now this, this summer and after I get cleared, I do plan on toning my body. Um, you know, doing some squats, getting my butt going, you know, get my body back in shape to tone it back up because it's not toned right now. Um, and then, yeah, I should be good, but I am below my pre-pregnancy weight, which is amazing because I haven't done anything. You know what I'm saying? My body just chose to completely lose that. Like, I was all baby. I'm going to show you guys my stomach, um, you know, like a body shot, but I'm not going to show you my stomach incision. Um, but I'm going to show you, you know, my body because I do show, showed you, I did show you guys in my pregnancy updates. So, but for a quick second on that topic, I did have things written down for a 39 or 38 week pregnancy update. Um, as well as, the, uh, not 39 because I had her 39 weeks. Um, but I did have a 38 week and I never filmed it. So, I'm sorry. Um, but... I did film all the way up to 37 and I had her at 39 so you guys didn't really miss out on much. The last week was the same thing that it always was. There was nothing new. Um, so, um, so you guys are good to go. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to show you guys my body. I haven't done anything like I said and that makes me really proud because it's been so long since I've talked to the camera apparently because I'm so hype right now. I think it's the lighting. I think the lighting has me hype. Um, good quality videos get me hype to me the title of this video I'm just kidding um my feet are asleep I don't know what I was saying guys I need sleep but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my body I'm 5'3 by the way if anybody was wondering I'm 5'3 141 pounds at three weeks postpartum happy about that so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and then uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it helps you you know if you guys are like two days postpartum for a c-section then this is hopefully what two three weeks will look like for you um, hopefully you know if you just pregnant and you just want to know what it's like this is what it's like for me like I said I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys do want future postpartum up future postpartum videos, I guess it would be updates, um, and then, you know, go ahead and let me know, like, how long in advance, um, I would probably do up to a few months, because it can take a while, unless I'm, like, completely healed, then I'm like, okay, guys, I'm done, you know, you never really completely heal, though, 
my daughter's coughing, so I should probably hurry this up. Anyway, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and click that little bell by the subscribe button somewhere down there. Hold on. By the subscribe button down there and it'll let you guys know when I upload. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up. My feet are numb. I don't really know if I can do this because my feet are literally numb right now. Oh, God. Okay. So I have pajama pants on. But, um, so. So this, hold on, buddy. This is my, let's get back. This is my three week. Like I said, okay, it looks like I have a muffin top, but I, I swear that I really do not. Like I said, you know, I do have a lot of toning to do. Quit, Sky. And my love handles are no. horrendous. Um, but yeah, it's mainly just toning. It's not like super saggy. But yeah, it's not like. Oh, it's not like muffin top, which I'm very proud of. Um, it's definitely not like everybody's body goal but um I'm not one for like to show off my body when I'm not pregnant and it took a lot of guts to do that but I'm very proud um my dog my body carried my daughter for 10 months and got put through absolute hell during this time and um it bounced back took a little bit more time than what it did the first time but it bounced back and I'm proud of that I'm proud of the progress my body has made I love my body for the fact that it did carry my daughter and give me such a perfect oh god here I go such a perfect little human being um so yeah I am I'm not ashamed I'm sure there's gonna be someone who's like oh my god you're so fat or oh my god you know nobody wants to see that thank you you know what I'm saying like I don't really care I wanted to show it and in 18 years of my daughter probably before 18 years. If she wants to look back and see what I went through, then she can. And so can my son and my friends and my family. And when I'm old and I want to remember what I did and what my body did for my kids, I can watch this. And that's what matters to me. You know what I'm saying? I share it with you guys of those who want to see. I share it with friends and family and myself and my children that can go back and watch this. And that that's, I mean, that's what matters to me. So, I mean, I'm sorry if you don't like it. I'm sure there's very much worse sights in this world. But I didn't expect for this to be a 20-minute video. This is going to take forever to upload. But I hope you guys... Hold on, yes, guy. Shh. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope... <laughs> I hope you all have a torvic day.